Hey there everybody, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Boyer and I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the wickedly cool clouds that we had across the area. On Wednesday, most of the cloud photos that you have been sharing with us through our Chime In page, they have been spectacular and a lot of questions about these clouds so I'd like to answer some of those questions because some of these are pretty rare. Let's start with this one. You might have seen a cloud formation like this. You see the hole in the cloud and a little cloud in the middle of that hole. Well, this is called a fall streak, all right? A fall streak occurs when supercooled water droplets, first of all, let's explain supercooled. Supercooled means these are water droplets that exist well below freezing. Normally you'd have ice, but because these droplets lack a nuclei, some kind of a piece of dust or something to freeze onto or start the freezing process, they don't freeze initially, all right? Well, let's say an airplane flies along, jet airliner typically in these situations. The exhaust from that jet airliner actually creates the process of freezing as some of that particulate matter gets into the cloud. And boom, the process happens very rapidly. The crystals go from super, I should say the droplets go from super cool droplets to ice crystals, and they either fall through the cloud because they get heavy enough to do so, or they evaporate. And when they do that, they create this formation in the clouds. That is pretty neat to see, is it not? All right, so that was a fall streak. Thank you, Brad Smith, for sending us that photo. This is probably one of the rarest forms of clouds you will ever see, all right, or witness, if you were lucky enough to catch these. Tim Davis caught these up in Yancey County early Wednesday morning. These are Kelvin Helmholtz wave clouds. Obviously, they look like waves. That's why they are categorized as that. These formed by wind shear winds at different speeds above the cloud layer and direction and as the wind is faster above the cloud layer you get that pulling motion of the wind to lift some of the cloud up and then bring it back down okay so that's the cascading or cresting motion you see in the clouds thus the wave pattern that is wicked that is pretty cool to see i am sure a lot of you if you ever saw that would certainly send in photos of it and thank you tim again for doing that the last one i'm going to show you is from rita surrett this looks like kind of a washboard or accordion style uh, cloud cover and what this is is this is another form of wave clouds and these are gravity wave clouds so as the buoyant or rising air comes up, gravity eventually can pull it back down. So this cloud condenses and forms and then may disappear as the air descends and dries and then rises up again to form another cloud. So that's why you get the rippling effect. It's gravity that actually helps form these gravity wave clouds. So thanks again, everybody, for sending in those chime in photos. We love to see them. If you have anything you want to ask, please do so, and we'll try to answer that for you. Have a great day.